Income Tax 2022-2023. Tax Software Options. Let's do some wealth preservation with income tax preparation. In a prior presentation, we looked at the three general ways, the three general lenses that we will use in order to analyze income tax law and income tax preparation, that being the use of a formula, the use of forms, and the use of software. Now, all of these three options or all of these ways that we use to visualize and understand tax law are related but we can kind of break them out because when we're thinking about a formula, that's usually the tool we use when we're trying to visualize something. When we look at the forms, those are the actual 1040 forms and related schedules, the end result. And when we look at the software, the software is a tool helping us to better or more quickly do the data input, which will then populate the forms, the forms being a more detailed version of the income tax formula. So now we want to focus in on the software because we will be using software support accounting instruction by clicking the link below giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website broken out by category further broken out by course each course then organized in a logical reasonable fashion making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a youtube page we also include added resources such as excel practice problems pdf files and more like quickbooks backup files when applicable so once again click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it or here although you're not required to use software in order to follow along with the course but it's a great tool to use because of course it helps make faster data input allowing you to run scenarios much more quickly and those scenarios are really the things that gets most people's minds working to see what is going to be happening to just run different tests run different trials because all the tax law a lot of the tax law of course is embedded into the code of the software so we can learn a lot by just adjusting things such as income levels and other data input uh, components so I'm going to be using Lacert tax software. That's the tax software I'm most familiar with. Of course, it will be the current tax software 2022. That's more of a kind of professional tax software that people would typically be using if you're going to be in a business working multiple tax returns versus individual software, which would be something like a TurboTax. These, by the way, are not the only two types of software out there, and I'm not trying to advertise them because I'm not affiliated to them at all. Although I have been using Lacert a lot. I've used other tax softwares as well, but I think Lacert is a really good, you know, robust type of software that, that fits a lot of needs if you're doing like a, like a tax business type of scenario. And in the TurboTax, of course, is aimed at an individual doing their own uh, individual taxes. And I think that's a good tool as well. These two happen to be owned by Intuit, Intuit being the owner of uh, QuickBooks. Now, I'm not going to be going in depth here in terms of the data input into, say, the Lacert screen and try to explain exactly how you data input into like a Lacert data input that would then generate the actual tax forms because our major focus will be on running different scenarios and going from the data input to the tax forms to see those different scenarios. So it's going to be more like I'm going to change the income level. I'm going to pretend we have two W-2s. I'm going to change the, the age of uh, the taxpayer and see what impact that will have on the tax return. And then we will, of course, use the software to focus on the actual tax return, the form 1040, to see what happens, what's the end result when we run those different scenarios so the best software to do those and run those different scenarios i would think would be a type of software that would be a business type of software because there's it's easier to go back and forth from the software to the actual tax forms if you use a turbo tax or something like that for an individual income tax return also a great tool if you have access to it that would be a great tool uh, to look at and try out as well but it can be a little bit more uh, cumbersome, a little bit more difficult to jump back and forth from the data input to the end result, the tax forms, because it is designed to be more of an interview type of process. Whereas 
the the larger tax forms for a larger like CPA firm or tax firm are designed to do the data input a little bit quicker. So it might be a little bit easier to jump uh, back and forth. So just some options in terms of uh, getting access to these softwares, you can jump on over to a Google search, for example, and I'm just gonna look at Intuit, but there's a lot of other softwares as well, but Intuit is a big company, they own QuickBooks. And you can see up top, they have some of their softwares that they own up top. They also have a product drop down here. I like to go all the way to the bottom if I'm looking at their software options because they've had their websites been quite similar for a long time in, in that at the bottom, they've got kind of a breakout of, of their different softwares down here. So they've, they've broken it out at this point by company. So if you see it by company, they've got about into it, investor relations and so on for individuals. Now notice they have a tax software, TurboTax, under the individuals. So you can kind of get an idea of what the tax software is basically doing or what kind of software it is by where it's located down here. If it's under the individual thing, that would be like an individual type uh, of, of software. And then for the businesses, you've got, of course, their QuickBooks items and then uh, TurboTax again, because I think they're considering a small business like a Schedule C, then you could still be using a, a TurboTax. If you had a tax business for accountants, then you've got Lacert here. Now I think Lacert, and, and, and I'm not, I haven't used a Pro Connect and Pro Series in detail. I might actually go into those and kind of experiment with them in future courses to get a better idea of them. But the Lacert is the one I have the most experience with. And I think that is gonna be like the most robust giving you access to, I think the most forms or it gives you access to a lot of forms and a lot of different state forms. Obviously some of the issues with the taxes is that the it's not standardized over the whole country and that you have the federal taxes and then of course you've got the state tax requirements as well and you want to make sure that you're picking up a tax preparation software if you're in a business that will pick up the necessary you know other things state tax returns and other forms or kinds of taxation uh, that's necessary and i have found that lacert is pretty good uh, at that and lacert used to be a long time ago, it was owned by a company other than Intuit. Intuit bought it a while back. It was good before uh, it was bought by Intuit. And I think Intuit's done a pretty, you know, they've done a pretty good job keeping it uh, at the standard that I think it was before. And I think it was quite good before. And then you've got Pro Connect and the Pro Series. Like I've looked at those, but I haven't really actually worked in an office preparing with those softwares. So again, I might look at those in the future, but any of these options, I would think these three, if you can get a sample of it or a free option to it, might be a little bit easier to run your scenarios than something like a TurboTax. Although, if, if, you, if you can get access to a TurboTax to run scenarios, that would be fine too. Now, if I go into Lacert here just to check it out, this is the one that I'll be looking at. So if you were trying to follow along, this is the one that would look closest to what I'm doing. They do have a try free option. So, you, you've got experience Lacert at no cost and breeze through your, your uh, toughest returns. So you can type your information into here and, and check out if you can get some access to the free option when you're actually uh, filling out. So, so that's one option you can look into. So then the other one here, if I go to the other one, they've got the Pro Connect Tax, which I've experimented with, but I haven't done a lot with. Uh, it says it's got its get started item. I don't see that they give you that free option. Get my three free credits. So you, you might experiment with that a little bit more and see if they have kind of a free option. If I say get started, it, this one's a cloud-based. Oh, here it is. Sign up for free. So they actually do have a free option as well, which is great. This one is advertising a cloud-based software. You've got to be careful. I would be careful if you're doing actual taxes with the cloud-based software, because although the argument is from the big companies and from the IRS itself, that cloud-based software and direct deposit and that kind of stuff is quite secure because their servers are really good and this kind of stuff, it still has the, the problem, of course, of accessing it through the cloud. And so, and I, and I know the IRS has been giving some warnings about to tax taxpayers being targeted or tax preparers being targeted 
uh, by people actually hacking into their software, which you would think might be a little bit easier to do if you had a cloud-based software than like a Lacert. A Lacert is still something that you would download to your desktop and open on the desktop. So I'm not saying that someone couldn't hack into a Lacert software on your desktop, but it's a, you would think it'd be a little bit more difficult because obviously if you see your mouse moving around, you know, and they open the Lacert program, that might be a little bit more difficult than if they just hosted it on another website and opened it up that way. But uh, in any case, so they've got that one. Obviously some of the benefits of having it on the cloud are that you can work from different locations and you can have other people uh, working, have a possibly decentralized office uh, situation, multiple people working on the software from different locations. And then you've got the Pro Series. So that also has a Pro Series uh, option, try it for free up top option as well. So you can look into those options. Like I say, Intuit is not the only uh, tax preparation software in town, but Lacert is the one that I've worked with the most and Intuit is a big company, of course. And uh, if you use QuickBooks and stuff like that, you, you may already have like an account with them uh, and everything. So, so that's the one that you know, I'll be working with but any software that you can get to run scenarios, to run practice problems, check them out, test them out. If you're actually looking to pick up a software for your business, then make sure, put, put some time into that because the, the cost can be significantly different and not all software is the same in terms of, do you want a cloud or do you want a software that's gonna be on uh, your desktop and the, the uh, capacity for it to cover all different scenarios is much different. So if your needs, if you don't have as much needs in terms of multiple states, more complex returns and whatnot, you're just focusing on individual income tax returns, possibly more on the low income side of things. You're, you're focused on quantity as opposed to uh, uh, more complex tax returns, then you might want like a cheaper option that handles those things well and then be able to know what it does not handle so that you can say, no, I'm not doing those. You have to be able to refuse the clients that are not in your in your wheelhouse, which is really hard to do because sometimes, you know, <laughs> it's not easy to do actually. But then, and then if you're doing a more robust, if you're doing more complex tax returns, you're most likely gonna need a more expensive software that can handle the functionality of more complex tax returns.